Welcome to the Maternity Mentor. Today we will be talking about cholestasis of pregnancy and how to treat it so you can prevent life-threatening complications for your baby. Stay with us. Hi, I'm Samantha. I'm a board certified nurse practitioner and I have over 12 years nursing experience working in mother baby postpartum, NICU, antepartum and labor and delivery. I'm also an IBCLC, I'm maternal newborn nursing certified and I have received training in perinatal mood and anxiety disorders as well as perinatal bereavement. Cholestasis of pregnancy can be extremely uncomfortable to deal with and can cause some serious complications for you and your baby. Let's explore what cholestasis of pregnancy is and how to treat it. Cholestasis of pregnancy is a common liver disease. It is also called intrahepatic cholestasis of pregnancy or ICP. Cholestasis usually develops late in pregnancy. Bile is a yellow green fluid produced by the liver that assists with the digestion of fat. It is made up of cholesterol, bilirubin, and bile salts. Cholestasis of pregnancy is the buildup of those bile salts, as well as interference with the normal flow of bile. It is believed to be caused by the increased pregnancy hormones and is usually diagnosed in the third trimester because pregnancy hormones are at their highest during this time. Intense itching is the most common symptom of cholestasis of pregnancy. This itching is unique because there is no rash associated with it. Most of the time, the itching is confined to the palms of the hands or the soles of the feet. However, some women will experience itching everywhere. The itching can be worse at night and may interfere with sleep. Other symptoms of cholestasis during pregnancy include dark colored urine, jaundice, which is yellowing of the skin and the whites of the eyes, pain in the upper right quadrant of your belly without gallstones, fatigue or exhaustion, pale or light colored bowel movements, loss of appetite, and nausea. Some women may also experience depression as a symptom of cholestasis of pregnancy. The nice thing is, once you deliver your baby, the symptoms will usually disappear in a few days. Some women are at increased risk of developing cholestasis of pregnancy. Risk factors include being pregnant in the winter, especially third trimester, personal history of cholestasis of pregnancy, family history of cholestasis of pregnancy, history of liver damage, history of liver disease, history of in vitro fertilization, having ABCB11 or ABCB4 gene mutations, which affect how the body makes and uses bile, being pregnant with multiples like twins or triplets, and being of Hispanic, Swedish, or Chilean background. Out of every 1,000 pregnancies, one to two will develop into cholestasis of pregnancy. However, up to five out of every 100 pregnancies for Hispanic women will develop cholestasis. Once you've had cholestasis, your chances of having it again are 60 to 70%. If you experience severe cholestasis, recurrence rates may be up to 90%. Before we continue, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe so you can get our latest content to have a happy and healthy family. Now let's talk about the complications of cholestasis of pregnancy. Cholestasis of pregnancy may seem like a benign condition, but it can cause serious complications for both you and your baby. Complications for your baby include premature birth prior to 37 weeks gestation, which can lead to short-term and long-term health problems, fetal distress in utero leading to heart rate changes, reduced fetal movement, and passage of meconium or the baby's first poop into the amniotic fluid, meconium aspiration, which occurs when the baby breathes in the meconium at birth and it blocks airways leading to breathing problems, respiratory distress syndrome in babies whose lungs are not fully developed causing the sacs in the lungs to collapse, leading to breathing problems in the baby, and stillbirth, where the baby dies in utero. 
Some research suggests that your baby may also be at increased risk for diabetes and cardiovascular disease as an adult if you experience cholestasis of pregnancy. Complications for mom include postpartum hemorrhage, which is heavy, life-threatening bleeding after birth. This occurs because the absorption of vitamin K is affected by cholestasis of pregnancy. Vitamin K is essential for blood clotting and deficiency can lead to hemorrhage. Diagnosis usually starts when a woman presents to a provider complaining of itching. Your provider should ask you about your symptoms and medical history, which will provide most of the information required to be diagnosed. They will examine you to rule out any other causes. Then they should order blood tests to look at your liver function and to measure the amount of bile salts in your blood. Symptoms combined with abnormal blood work is enough to diagnose a woman with cholestasis of pregnancy. You should contact your healthcare provider immediately if you develop persistent itching or if you have itching that is getting worse so a full workup can be done. Unfortunately, there is no way to prevent developing cholestasis of pregnancy. The treatment of cholestasis focuses on reducing itching and making you more comfortable. Medical treatment options prescribed by your provider include topical anti-itch medications, medications with corticosteroids, a medication called ursodiol, which can lower the level of bile in your blood, and vitamin K administration, both pre-delivery and again after delivery to prevent hemorrhage in both mom and baby. Homeopathic treatments can include cold or lukewarm baths because it slows down blood flow by decreasing body temperature, drinking ice water, dabbing the affected areas with baking soda or apple cider vinegar, applying coconut oil to your skin after bathing, and eating organic produce which contains less pesticides for your liver to break down. The American Pregnancy Association recommends the use of dandelion root and milk thistle, which can be beneficial for liver function, as well as topical calamine lotion for symptom relief. The American Pregnancy Association also recommends against the use of antihistamines, a vino, or oatmeal baths. Some anecdotal reports show menthol patches may help itching, but there is also evidence that this is harmful to use during pregnancy. So these should be avoided unless prescribed by your healthcare provider. As always, you should speak to your healthcare provider before starting to use any vitamins, supplements, or over-the-counter medications, as they may cause more harm than good. Another major focus is monitoring your baby's health to prevent complications for your baby. Monitoring may include amniocentesis, which is performed by taking some amniotic fluid from your belly using a needle and testing it for birth defects, fetal lung maturity, and the presence of meconium. Non-stress tests, or NSTs, which monitor your baby's heart rate to make sure it is responding normally for your baby's gestational age. A baby's heart rate should increase with activity, so lack of changes can indicate fetal distress. NSTs are usually done twice per week and a fetal biophysical profile, or BPP, may be performed. A BPP is an ultrasound that checks certain markers which provide information about fetal well-being. The markers include fetal movement, muscle tone, practice breathing, and a measurement of amniotic fluid levels. NSTs and BPPs check on your baby's well-being, but are unable to predict whether an early birth will be needed. Your provider may recommend an early induction of labor if they believe your baby is not doing well due to cholestasis of pregnancy. If this happens, your provider will probably give you a medication called dexamethasone, which is a steroid that will help mature your baby's lungs prior to delivery. Cholestasis of pregnancy can be a very scary diagnosis to receive. I hope this has explained what cholestasis of pregnancy is and what the monitoring and treatment of this disease looks like. Please share your comments and let us know what topics you would like to hear more about. If you like this content, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you can be the first to receive this information. Remember to share this channel with your friends and family and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for additional content. 
We will link those in the description below. Thank you so much for joining us at the Maternity Mentor.